When I write, I really try to make people happy. If I can get them, you know, to a better place, if I can just make them feel better about themselves through my writing, whether that's through comedy or through some other method, that's okay. Uh, I think that I really just strive to make other people happy. And if that should be through my writing or through my acting, that's, that's really okay. I like your writing because I've been told I'm good at it. In addition to that, I like having produced something. At this point in my life, it's I'm consuming things. I take food from my parents, I take money from my parents, I take education from my teachers, etc, etc. So being able to actually produce something that's mine is actually kind of important to me. Being able to say, I wrote this, that... It, it, there's just something immensely satisfying about that. But then I started thinking about what I've been writing and what I put into my writing, and a lot of it is history. It's because, for me, the future isn't necessarily something I want to think about, but the past and why things happened and what led to those things happening is one of the most in interesting things in the world, and so that's why I write. And I have my inspiration with other poets and other authors like Maya Angelou, Roger Reeves. They talk about personal experience as well, but also like history and race and politics. And um, that's what that's what I like about like those inspirations. They talk about their own culture, and I feel like I could do more with that with, within my work. And then people started telling me I was good at it, so I kept going. And that's sort of the reason I kept going, is because it was validation that I was good at something. And I, I think that's really what it is for me, is a validation that I like have a talent that most people really don't have. At the end of the day, I'm just a storyteller, whether I do that through the lens, uh, the script, a script, um, a piece of fiction, or a poem. Over the past four years, I've learned how to recognize if this might be the better way to tell a story. And that's only through trial and errors. People tell me, oh, that might be as bad as a poem, or, you know, this would be a good short story, or that'd be an amazing script, or like, something like that. So I think it's cool to have my teachers and my peers tell me um, that might, this might be a better medium. Um, it's interesting to see myself sort of progress in terms of how I recognize stories and how I sort of interpret stories as well. I'm inspired by a lot of writers, like especially Jorge Luis Borges. I like Christopher Hitchens as a journalist, but I, I think I'm also at least as inspired by classical music and also jazz. With my art, my goal is, is mostly to make people think about issues they've thought about in a new light. If that can make the world a better place, that would be great. I write because I want to follow in parallel to a tradition of radical women writers who create manifestos to unanswered questions. Gwendolyn Brooks had her amazing Awakening Pieces riot in Kitchenette Building and sex and deep leaks were the taboo subject of the mother-daughter relationship in the double image. Sharon Olds had the yelling and language of the brag, and writer Kathy Acker has countless fitting works. They were saturated in their confessional material, but in writing about it, rebelled from it. This is what I want to do. The easiest way for me to start a poem is to think about stuff I've seen in the world or think about something that has happened to me. So childhood is just naturally where I tend to gravitate toward in my writing. At the beginning of this year, Hewn brought in a, a quote that was something along the lines of, I write like I have to pee. It's just something I kind of have to do compulsively. It's a, a, a natural bodily function of mine, and I, if I don't do it, I'll explode. Workshopping is by far my favorite part of the creative writing process. Um, it's the ability to come together as a group and get something done. Um, so it's just the idea of just having something that you that you spent hours on, you know, something that you just poured your heart, your sweat, your tears on, and um, just coming into your friends, coming into this group of writers, these group of people that, that have the same passion as you, have the same drive, and just saying, you know, look, I'm vulnerable, I wrote this yesterday, or whenever long you wrote it um, ago, and then it's just like, I want you guys to help me.